الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب الله سبحانه وتعالى فيه في كتاب في كتابه الكريم has pointed us and given us a beautiful supplication which we should all remember and all reflect upon and all recite praying to Allah Azza wa Jal with the ikhlas and this dua contains ikhlas with the bad al sunnah because it's from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And the dua is Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan wa fil akhirati hasan wa qina dhab al-nar O Allah Give us good in this life As well as the next And protect us from the fire Ayu al-Ahbab We're in great need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And He doesn't need us And we need his protection and his assistance and his support in this life as well as the next. We need it, as the Salaf used to say, this dunya, a dunya, dar al amal, wal akhira, dar al jaza. That this life is the time for deeds, a dar al amal. Wal akhira, and the hereafter, is the Dara Jaza. It's the time when we reap the benefits of what we did in this life. So if we lived a good, righteous life with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making constant toba for our many shortcomings and our many sins, then we can have success in this life as well as the next. And never give yourself or never restrain yourself from asking for the good in this life as well as the next. You can use, for example, if you need wealth in order to do righteous deeds, to, to give more continue, uh, charity, to take care of your family, support your family, support your companions and, and help and assist others and help the fuqara and the musaqeen and the mujahideen and those people who need then ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that in this life Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana give us in this life hasana wa fil akhirati hasana and in the, in the next hasana wa qina dhamana and protect us from the fire that's a dua of the mu'min and that's the true success of the mu'min. The true success of the mu'min is in the next life. But in fact, if you get success in this life as well as the hereafter, you have the both. You have uh, the success in all the worlds. And it only comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his divine, divine names and attributes. And this is tawassal. This is seeking to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the forms of tawassal. It's not calling the dead. It's not supplicating to the dead. It's not supplicating to your sheikh or your, to your marid or being the marid or to anyone or anything else or even to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam or Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam. But rather, it's supplicating to Allah azza wa jal and asking him him and him alone by his divine names and attributes to accept your good deeds and forgive your evil deeds and give you good in this life as well as the next so the mu'min doesn't have to restrain himself in the sense of asking for good but as we know the hadith of the prophet والسلام, which talks about this dunya qala nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi sahih muslim a dunya sijin mu'min wa janatul kafir that this life, this dar, 
In fact, it is the sigin of the mu'min. It's the prison of the believer. And it's the paradise of the disbeliever. Why is that? Because the believer restrains himself. He refrains from many things that the disbeliever indulges in because they can do, they don't restrain themselves. They feel they're unrestrained and unrestricted. So they do whatever they please. But the mu'min adheres to the shara adheres to the kitab illa wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that they have the health physically, mentally, and spiritually in this life and that they're successful in the next and this is what we want Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana fil akhirati hasana wa qina dhab al-nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam